Okay, there's two ways to find slope. One way is to use the picture, and one way is to use the equation. Okay? Use the picture. So if you have a picture, oftentimes the easiest way is to actually just use the picture. But did we have a picture to start with really here? No. 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 If you just have the numbers, and you don't have a picture, and they don't tell you to graph the picture, all they want is the slope, it's probably faster to use the equation. And really, you should be able to do both. Not just one or the other, you should be able to do both. Okay? So all you need to do is you need to figure out, first of all, you need a starting point. You need a starting point. What do you need to start with? Starting, a starting, a starting point. point. Okay. And, and it's point. arbitrary. Does anyone know what the word arbitrary means? It's not based on anything. Could be either. It's random. It's you pick. Okay. It, you don't have to like have some sort of logic behind it. Just pick one. That's what arbitrary means. Just pick something. It's arbitrary. But I like to. I always like to pick the one on the left. I just find it makes things easier. Okay. You don't have to, sure. but I like to. And what you're gonna find is how far did you move horizontally and how far I drew that a little too far and how far did you go that is way too far hello hello how far I know how far did you move horizontally and, and also which direction did you move that's very important you, not only how far but which way because remember I said we're adding in math, we add the, not just how far, but also which way. So, how far did I move horizontally? Three. Three, three right? One, two, three. Which way did I move? Right. 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 Is right positive or negative? Positive. And just to get in the habit of always remembering to ask the question of which way, I would even write plus when it's positive, just to remind yourself. I need to think about which way it's going. Okay, then I went how far vertically? Six. 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 Which way? Up. Uh, up, which is positive, right? Down is negative, up is positive. So what's my rise? Six. What's my rise? Positive six. Six, six because that's the vertical. What's my run? Three. Three. Okay, so if it's rise over run, what is positive six divided by positive three? Yeah. Two. 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 My positive slope two. is two. Okay? Yes? <laughs> the red line? It doesn't matter. You can go up then over. I just want to find out how far did I move this way to go from, because these are my two points. How far am I going this way, and how far am I going this way? <laughs> well, we're talking how far horizontally, which is only this way, right? How far vertically, which is only this way. So I sort of separate it into its two pieces, which does make a triangle, a right triangle. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> All right. Now listen up. Listen up. That's one way. Way number one. And hey, we've got a little ways to go in this lesson, so and I want it to be quick because it's one of our easier ones. Okay. So look up here. Here's our equation. We can also use our equation. And guess what? Uh, I want you to see there are two coordinate points, and some people get really confused by this x1 and x2 business. So let me tell you what these things mean. Whenever you have a symbol, usually a number, but it doesn't have to be a number. Whenever you have a symbol that's used as a subscript, this is called a subscript. You guys know subscript, superscript? Yes. Sub meaning beneath, and script meaning to write. So this is the subscript. 
in math, whenever we use a subscript, it's to give us additional information about something else. Okay? It's not a mathematical thing. I'm not doing anything to x here. So if you ever see this anywhere like x3, that is not like you're multiplying by 3, you're not cubing anything. That is saying it's the letter x, but it's uh, we want to differentiate it between other x's in this problem. Okay? Why does this use another letter? Because if you have two points, we usually refer to points as x and y, right? So what do you want to use? A and B, and the other one we'll call C and D when we're talking about coordinate points that are X and Y? That's, that's even more confusing. Okay? So how we do it. So these are, what we're saying is these are X and Y coordinates, X and Y coordinates, but they're different. This is one of them, this is the other one. And you get to pick, again, it's arbitrary, you can pick which one is called the first point and which one's called the second point. Just to be consistent with what we did, the first point was that bottom one. What is the first point? Negative three, well, negative two. It's right in there. What is it? Negative two, negative three. Okay, I need to hear more people. What is it? Negative, negative two, negative three. Negative three. Very good. Okay, what's the second point? One three. <laughs> one three. Oh, how he's loud enough for one, all One three. I just try. Okay. Now, so this is what we picked, and I want you to see the first point has an x, this is what it's saying. The first point has an x coordinate of negative 2. The first point has a y coordinate of negative 3. The second point has an x coordinate of 1. The second point has a y coordinate of that's what the notation means. So let's actually do it. Let's plug it in. What is y2? The second y3. It's 3. Okay? Minus 3. What is the three. y? Negative 3. It's negative 3. The first one's negative 3. So you've got to go 3 minus negative 3, which is 3 plus 3. 3 plus three. Three plus positive okay? 3. The, then you go, okay, x2, that's the second x coordinate. 1. 1. Minus. minus two. What's the first x coordinate? Negative 2. Negative two. 2. So 1 minus minus 2 is? Plus, plus, plus two. 2. Oh, it's the same as the word. 6 over 3, which is? 2. two. 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 Same answer. Why you roll that? And hey, guess what? If you would have picked the opposite way, if you would have called this one the first point and this one the second point, you would have switched it, you still would have gotten two. No matter which way you do it, you should always get the same answer. Okay? So that's the formula way. This is the picture way. Either one's okay, but it really I want you to be able to do both. Okay?